Just before we start, everything in this video is public knowledge. Um, it is in the news. So my my opinions are my opinions, not the opinions of everybody else. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Holly, as you may already know. I hope you'll stick around, subscribe to the channel, give this video a like and stick around to hear what I've got to say. This video is going to be a little bit sad. Recently you may have seen in the news that a famous YouTuber um, has passed away. Allegations are that he was murdered. This YouTuber is called Corey Labarry. He's he, well, he's massive in America. He's Australian, an Australian YouTuber, but he moved to America. On the 10th of May, he lost his life on his 25th birthday. He had this party with all his friends, YouTubers and whatnot. And you know what happens at parties. They all get a little bit merry. Anyway, another YouTuber was there by the name of Daniel Silva. But he is a famous tattoo artist and has his own YouTube channel. So basically what happened was um, Corey got into the car with Daniel on his birthday and Corey was the passenger. Daniel Silva was driving. Daniel Silva was driving very fast and well it led to them crashing and Corey unfortunately lost his life. Daniel is alive still. He, in fact, at the time of the crash, he managed to get out of the car and tried to flee the scene. I'd imagine he was very scared, um, not condoning what he's done, not at all. He shouldn't have run. Always gets you into more trouble. The public who were around and saw the car stopped him and managed to keep him. He, he had numerous injuries. One of them was a broken hip. Anyway, so obviously he survived, he got out of the car, but Corey was killed on impact on his 25th birthday. The kid's not even flipping lived, much has he? The ambulance comes and takes Corey to the hospital. The police and the ambulance don't test for blood alcohol levels, which it's a bit bizarre really since there's been a car crash and it's resulted in a death especially so no blood alcohol test levels were done now daniel silver says that he wasn't drink driving he hadn't had a drink not touched a drink and he was driving with no influence of alcohol but somebody else at the party who was there said that they saw him drinking now you could say on one fact, well, that he was seen drinking. It doesn't say that he was seen drinking in a receptacle that says alcohol or whatnot. But he was seen drinking. Police could turn around and say, well, we can't really prove what was in his drink. He was driving really fast. That led to the crash. We don't know. He could have been drink driving and he could have lost all inhibition and crashed. He could have just lost control of the car. Either way, somebody's lost a life and somebody needs to pay for it. And it's very sad. Corey LeBarry was very, very much loved and still is. If you look on YouTube, you'll find tons of videos um, in his honour. And for his parents, who were going through a terrible time, they've lost a son at 25 years old, who's never lived his life, really. His big YouTube star, big, huge, but he was taken away far too soon. Daniel Silva got arrested and he is in jail at the minute and it is an ongoing thing. <laughs> From what I've heard, he's in jail with an injury. From what I've heard about the American justice system and the jails there, I can imagine that he's not going to have an easy life, no matter how famous he is. You see, the thing is, over here in England, YouTube isn't such a big thing. 
we don't really hear much about English YouTube stars unless they live in America. I think America is more of a accepting place for YouTubers, but then they're always in the media. They're tret like celebrities, like Jeffrey Star. Jeffrey Star. Did if you ever watched the series on Jeffrey Star and Shane Dawson, the palette that they brought out. If you saw the amount of people in that shopping centre when they went on the um, little tour, it was phenomenal. It was mad. We don't really get that over here. That I know of. I live in a small town, so well, it might be different in London. I'm not sure. So Daniel Silva is in jail. He has been charged with murder. And he is set to be on trial um, next month. So that'd be interesting to see what happens. Now it has come out that obviously Corey Lebarry's parents are actually suing the company that um, Daniel Silver works for. Maybe even Daniel Silver himself for wrongful death. So we shall see on that one. I can understand where they're coming from. I really can. And it's probably an unpopular opinion right here. They must be really devastated, heartbreaking as it is. He's been arrested for murder, which means really it was premeditated. Somewhere along the line thinks that this was all premeditated and Daniel Silver meant to get Corey, Corey LeBarry into the car so that he could purposefully kill him. It might be an unpopular opinion and if it is, well if it is I'm sorry but I think he just made a big mistake. It's one of those things where it's one tiny little second of your life getting into the car with somebody well, getting into the car while you're under, under the influence, basically. One split second like that. Yes, he could have probably not invited Corey into the car, but boys will be boys and they like to show off with the toys and everything, don't they? Um, that was his mistake, getting into a car while under the influence, if he was drinking. It's still not been proven because there's no blood tests, no breathalyzer tests, nothing. I will keep doing updates, um, so make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you can keep updated. So at this minute in time, his parents have opened a, Corey LeBarry's parents have opened a lawsuit and Daniel Silva is in jail, injured from his car crash and probably regretting everything that he's ever done. So, but that's what it takes. One small mistake. It could happen to anybody. It could happen to a doctor. One simple mistake, like you can make somebody jump and they could have a heart attack and die, right? This is how simple it is. You'll make somebody jump, they'll have a heart attack and pass away. That's it, you're going to jail for manslaughter. Whether you know them or not, your actions have caused serious harm or death to somebody. So yeah, it just takes one little thing, one mistake. And really, it could be the end of Daniel Silver's life. Not that I think that anybody's really on his side at the minute because he did a bad thing. He got in a car, he was drunk. Allegedly, he was seen drinking and he took somebody in that car with him. Yeah, it could have been a lot worse as well. He could have hit a pedestrian and had two deaths on his hands. Then you'll end up with two murder charges. So, but yes, if you want to keep updated, subscribe to the channel. I will be posting when I get more information. I am checking daily. So it's a short video today, just because I've heard, I've only just heard about this. It's, this happened on the 10th of May, 
So literally, what, two weeks ago? It's still fresh. And it's still a sore spot for everybody who loved him. If you want to hear more, subscribe to the channel, like this video and turn on your notifications and you'll be notified when I upload again. But I will keep you posted whenever I can and yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you all later. And don't forget, don't get into a car if you've had a drink. Don't get into a car with somebody who's had a drink. It could save your life. See you later. Bye.